through my study of the law and the research of the law and all that stuff, I stumbled upon um, all of this stuff because um, of the history of John F. Kennedy, Abraham Lincoln, and Adolf Hitler. And it all led me right to this, okay? The International Monetary Fund. Um, it is, um, it is <laughs> now, it's a part of the United Nations, okay, for one thing. And it has had a Washington, D.C. address for their corporate headquarters for over 77 years, okay? So that's just part of the puzzle, okay? So um, when I got to looking into it, um, I'm looking into the Postal um, Authority um, because everything in commerce goes through the postal system. And I discovered um, you the um, Postal Service here, you not, the um, Universal Postal Union out of Bern, Switzerland, um, I, I discovered an important fact about this, okay? And um, because of this the influence and everything, the United States, the original um, 13 colonies, they all had, um, they were sovereign entities. And they weren't allowed to do any commerce because they didn't have a listing with these people, okay? Let me bring that up and show you what I'm talking about because um, very important stuff, you know. Unfortunately, I mean, fortunately for me, I discovered this stuff so I can share it with you today. Okay, postal power. Here we go. No nation can be recognized as a nation without being an international admiralty in order to have a form common to all nations for engaging in commerce and resolving disputes. That is why the USA, under the Articles of Confederation, could not be recognized as a country. Every state colony was sovereign with its own common law, which um, it discloses other countries from interacting with the USA as a nation in international commerce. I mean, that's it right there. Okay? And the, the IMF is the jurisdiction, is the private admiralty, international admiralty jurisdiction. Okay? The creditor in the bankruptcy of every government on earth. Okay? So, this is all part of the lesson that I was teaching on how you can sign and use stamps and, and how to use the Postal Service to uh, put yourself in a position that you cannot fail. And uh, due to uh, <laughs> plagiarism of my intellectual property and uh, having to argue with idiots all the time trying to change my mind, you know, <laughs> I... Uh, kind of got away from that but anyways there you go there's the truth about um, the United States of America not being uh, uh, not being a, a reality for the for, for that long I mean they the founding fathers found this out you know they knew this probably from the beginning this is Freemasonry. You can't forget that General uh, Washington was a Freemason, and that was the first president. You can look at the symbology and, and the um, architecture in Washington, D.C., and it's got all that shit all over it. So, and all of the uh, zip codes in Washington, D.C., from 20000 to 20050 belong to the Crown Bar of England. Okay, and that's why all the Q people uh, waiting for that castle lock when the queen died. That's why that didn't happen, y'all. So, I do know what I'm talking about, whether you like it or not. 